Hi everyone. In this session we will have a look at how drone works at a basic level, followed by an overview of some of the design variations out there. Okay. So the term drone is not really all that descriptive. Technically anything remotely controlled or pilotless can be called a drone. Even the male bees are classified as drones. When we talk about drones in this course we are talking about multi rotors or multi copters. And to qualify as multi rotor it has to have two or more main rotors that provide lift. We can classify different types of drone according to number of rotors in them. As you are seeing the above image has eight rotors so it is called an octocopter. The image below that has four rotors so it is known as a quadcopter. Now let's have a look at how drone works and we use a quadcopter as an example of that. Quadcopter a quadcopter design has four motors. It is one of the many drone configurations out there. And it has a lot in common with one of the most iconic flying machines, the helicopter. However, unlike the helicopter, the quadcopter uses four motors in which two are spinning clockwise and the other two are spinning anti-clockwise to provide balance. Motion is achieved by changing the speed of motor and everything is controlled by a tiny onboard computer called a flight controller. It tells the motor how fast to spin depending on the input from the onboard sensor provided by the pilot. Now let's have a quick overview on a few drone design configurations. Starting with a quadcopter, the quadcopter has four motors mounted on a symmetrical frame with four arms. The arrows indicating the direction of the motor rotation when the drone is at a stable condition. You can build a quadcopter in different designs as well, but the most common one is the X shaped design. It is because the X tail provided the best flight characteristics. You have access to a more stable thrust and since you have two motors at each corner, in case you want to mount a camera, an unobstructed view can be obtained very easily. Next up, if we take away one motor, we have a tricopter. It works by using three main motor setups in a cool Y-shaped design. All the motors usually spin in the same direction. The tail also uses an additional servo motor in order to manipulate the direction of drone flies. This configuration is slightly cheaper to build since you have only using three main motors and all the propellers are of same shape and size. On the other side, however, this design offers less stability than other configurations and mechanism required for the tail is not as robust during the crashes. Additionally, you can imagine that this design would come with less lifting power as well. Now, next we have a hexacopter. It flies with the help of six motors on a symmetrical frame. It is very similar to a quadcopter in terms of flight mechanics. In this instance, there are three motors spinning clockwise while the other three spins anti-clockwise. Having more motors means the aircraft can carry heavy weight. And during flight, if one motor fails, it can still land safely. The downside of this design, however, is that it uses more motors and needs more battery power. So it is slightly more expensive to build. Finally, let's have a look at the octocopter. It flies with the help of 8 motors on a symmetrical frame. The flight mechanics are still pretty much the same as the quadcopter. In this instance, 4 motors are spinning clockwise while the other are spinning anti-clockwise to provide balance. You can almost see this is an upgrade to the hexacopter in terms of lift capacity. 
and you can land safely even if two motors fail during the flight. The downside of this configuration of course is that 8 motors will need a lot of power so you need to have multiple high powered battery packs which can get a bit expensive. One of the main use of this type of drone is to pair it up with professional video equipments that would provide to be too heavy to carry for other types of drones. Amazing! This concludes our quick intro into how drone works and some of the popular designs out there.